ASVAL slash VSS Venturez platform. Russians answer to the 300 blackout before the question was even asked. A Russian powerhouse, unsurprisingly based off of the 7.62x39 cartridge, and created because Russians wanted to quietly kill things more deader. That's right guys, we are going into Season 2 of the Guns of Tarkov, and we are starting off with the ASVAL VSS Venturez platform. Now both the ASVAL and the VSS are chambered in the 9x39 round, a subsonic round created almost out of necessity for the Spetsnaz. Prior to the creation of the 9x39, the Spetsnaz were known to run standard pattern AK rifles chambered in 7.62 with black-tipped US ammunition. The US in this name is short for a Russian term, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, which means reduced velocity. This ammo is present in game, however I don't believe it has any subsonic benefits. The real world issue that soldiers ran into, however, was a relatively common one in subsonic ammunition, cycling the action. While US ammunition was quiet, it was not powerful enough compared to supersonic 7.62x39 and had trouble cycling a standard AKM. Initially the response was to insert rubber baffles inside of the suppressor that created back pressure allowing the rifle to cycle properly. However, given some of the low temperatures that Russian Spetsnaz worked in, as well as just general use of rubber baffles, this was deemed not good enough. Thus enters the development talks that would lead to the 9x39 round and some interesting redesigns to the AK platform. According to Max Papinker with ModernFirearms.net, around 1960 the Svetsnaz began asking for a more permanent fix for the issues they were experiencing on their suppressed AKs. The first idea for a subsonic round was a 7.62 Tokarev cartridge with quote, the same 12 gram bullet, which leads me to believe that they put the bullet from a 7.62x39 into the cartridge for a 7.62x55 Tokarev, thus creating an almost 8mm Kurtz looking round. Interesting idea, but ultimately not what they were looking for. After multiple more experiments just not giving the results they'd like, and the dawn of the 545 round, the idea of a powerful subsonic cartridge was looking less and less likely. The idea was shelved as the Russian military focused their efforts on creating a subsonic version of the 545 round to be used in covert operations in Afghanistan. However, as the Russians soon found out, the 545 round is extremely small, and a subsonic version proved to be extremely weak. After nearly 20 years on the shelf, in 1983 the project of a dedicated suppressed subsonic weapon was in the works yet again. The project was called the Venturez Research and Development Program. Venturez means thread cutter for your information, but per Max, it was just a cool name meant to mislead counterintel in the Cold War. The Russian front in Afghanistan was the driving factor for the weapon's development, but Cold War tensions were still in the minds of Russian military leaders. One of their concerns was the armor-piercing ability of the prototype. When you get into armor-piercing, subsonic ammunition is not something that usually comes to mind with that, so that is a hurdle that the Russian developers would need to get over. The design for the ammunition was finalized in 1985 as the 9x39 ammo that we all know and love. A 9mm, 250 grain, lead-jacketed bullet traveling at approximately 950 FPS, being lovingly hugged by a necked up, you guessed it, 7.62x39 cartridge. Leave it to the Russians to hold on to that by 39 cartridge for as long as possible. A black steel tipped AP round was also created with a jacketed 7mm steel core capable of piercing quarter inch steel at over 300 feet. Technically speaking, the sniper ammunition such as SPP and SP5 were designed for the more precisely machined barrels of the VSS Venturez, and the AP rounds such as SP6 and PAB6 were designed for the stronger barrel in the AS Val which is much more suited for automatic fire. However, fundamentally speaking, the receivers on the rifles are the same. They are almost indistinguishable unless you inspect the weapon directly and are capable of mounting most, if not all, of the same attachments. The running gag in Tarkov for chads and cheaters alike is the infamous Val Gamers. However, I'm neither of those categories, so I hope you enjoy watching my less than proficient usage of the AS Venturez platform. <laughs> 